Howdy ho and hello! It is once again time for Free Base Friday. And this time around, I decided to remake my dragon base because it's one of the older ones in my list. And I felt like it was about time that I sat down and brought it up to the quality standard that I have today, as well as made the body types a little bit more realistic and natural, considering that thus far, a lot of the body types in the bases I used to draw were just very string bean skinny. And I wanted them to look a little bit more natural, so I decided to thicken up the proportions a little bit, make the heads a little larger, and just kind of overall make these a little bit more natural looking. I, as you know, love dragons, and I'm mildly addicted to dragons. So I figured this would be a really good base to work on and update into the new style, as well as like making a couple more options in here, which... I won't spoil the surprise just yet, but a little bit later in the video, I do something a little different with these guys that I think you're going to like. The other thing with this base that I kind of wanted to work on is I really want to have the option here so that if somebody wants to sort of chop off the wings of this one and replace them with like big feathery wings, you can do that. You can use the wings from some of my other bases and kind of transplant them if you'd rather use those as well as, you know, different ears and horns and hands and stuff like that. I tried to make it very modular so that anybody could swip swap parts however they liked. And I also really wanted, with these guys in particular, to leave the option open so that in the future, when I sit down and work on it, I'm going to be making, like, an add-on pack for my bases. And this particular one that I want to do first is going to be, like, a horn and ear pack and it's just gonna contain an absolute ton of like different shaped horns, different sizes, different kinds of ears, add-ons like cheek feathers and stuff like that. I just wanna make a whole bunch of different options as well as maybe at some point I will modify the dragon base for different wings of fire species because I recently started rereading the series again and I just, I felt like we need more anthro wings of fire bases and there's not really any out there. So I, I thought it would be kind of neat if maybe in the future I modified this base to look like Wings of Fire species. And it would also be a great opportunity for me to be able to show other people how you can modify the base line art of stuff like this. So that you can understand the process to make it more custom to fit your needs. Plus I just really like dragons and Wings of Fire. So I figured this would be a really good excuse for me to eventually work on updating the base to have more options like that. <laughs> but in creating this base, there was also a couple other little things that I did. And one of the biggest ones was I added the different little raptor toes on these guys. I don't know why, but lately I've just been like hyper obsessed with drawing raptor toes on dragons and None of my bases except the dino dog and the raptor were the only ones that ever had the little raptor toes. And I felt like that was a crime against dragons, so I decided to give these guys raptor toes. And I think it looks great and it works really well with their different body types and sizes. However, there is one other thing I also did with these bases, and that is that I tried to be a little bit more inclusive with them. So in addition to the male version that you see me drawing here, well, I guess it's more like, like a male and androgynous version, I also set to work making sure that there was a female version because the previous dragon base did not have that option. So this time around, there will be a male and a female base, and there will also be an additional body type. I really want to try and be more inclusive with different body types for my bases, it's just very difficult to do all of that because I usually have to edit the line art pretty significantly in order to make the different body types. And doing that for every single base just takes too many hours. So this time around, I tried to be as efficient with it as I possibly could. So while I sit here drawing out the female version, I'm trying to like accentuate the female shapes to make it work in a way that it looks clearly lady. But at the same time, you could very easily mix and match the different pieces of the line work to kind of get whatever body type you want. As well as, I, I don't believe I fully record it in the, the speed paint, but I also added a thicker body type option for both the male and female base. So if you're a little bit of a larger person and you have a thicker body type and you just can't find a base that suits your needs, 
I thankfully have been able to add that to these dragons so we can have thicker dragons, which is very nice for those who want to kind of feel like this matches their bodies a little bit more. Pretty much everything else is exactly the same. The line work for both the, I guess, the basic male and female, as well as the thicker male and female, are both completely free and available on my website, artbynefertiti.com slash free dash bases. And then you just have to scroll through the list until you see the dragons, at which point you'll see the ones that are clearly described as being either male, female, the chubby female, chubby male, and then of course I always keep the retired line art there as well, so if you want the old outdated base, you can still get that one too. But the new one's fancy and pretty and comes with all these fantastic body types, so I definitely think it's something that a lot of people are going to enjoy. And just like before, uh, I am kind of pressed for time. <laughs> I have a couple deadline commissions that I'm trying to get done as quickly as I can, and I... I'm just trying to crank things out one after the other. But the next video that I'm working on will indeed have a Patreon screen. So I'm just going to keep this real quick, short, and to the point. Thank you to all of my awesome patrons who support me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything that you do, especially in these holiday seasons when I'm busy, 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 busy. I really appreciate your support. As well as all of my donator patrons and you, the viewer, just sitting and watching these videos, you help me too. So thank you to everybody for all your awesome support. I really hope you enjoy the lovely dragons that I've presented for you today. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and a fantastic life.